Hey everybody, Rob here at eTrailer.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Kurt Class 3 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2018 Volkswagen Atlas. Now here's what our hitch is going to look like once we have it installed. I really like the look of the hitch because the cross tube is going to be completely hidden behind the bumper and all we're going to see is the receiver tube sticking out so it's not going to be a big eyesore on the back of our Atlas. Now our hitch is going to be a class 3 which means it gives us that 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. It's also going to have the widest variety of options for accessories we can mount up. Whether we need to tow a trailer we can put a ball mount in there or if we just want to take a trip with some friends put a cargo carrier back here so we can move some of that gear to the outside make some room or if we just want to hit the trails we can put a bike rack in here and take some bikes with us. But regardless of what we're going to be using our hitch for all of our accessories are going to mount to the hitch pin hole here on the side. Now the hitch is going to accept a standard 5A spinning clip. Now these are not going to be included with the kit, but you can pick them up here at eTrailer.com along with some locking devices to keep your accessories secure and anti-rattle devices to cut down on that annoying rattling sound from the receiver tube. Now if you are going to be towing a trailer, maybe you have a jet ski, a pop-up camper, or a utility trailer that you're going to use, you need spots to hook up your safety chains. And we're going to have a loop style, it's going to be welded to the bottom of the receiver tube, and with most average size hooks we'll have plenty of room to get them hooked on or take them off. But even if you have those really large oversized hooks, we still have plenty of room to get them engaged and to take them off. Now if you're looking for a hitch, obviously you have something you want to do with it and you want to make sure that it's going to be up to the task. So as far as the weight rating goes, our hitch is going to have a 900 pound tongue weight. That's going to be the maximum downward force pushing at the end of the receiver tube. To put that in perspective, that's going to be quite a bit. We'll be able to use those really large cargo carriers and maximize the carrying capacity. Or if we're going to be using it for a bike rack, we'll be able to get four, maybe even five or six bikes on there. Now as far as the gross trailer weight rating goes, it's going to have a 6,000 pound rating. That's how much the hitch can pull, but that does include everything on the trailer and the trailer itself. Now you do want to double check your Atlas's owner's manual because those are going to be the ratings for the hitch and we don't want to exceed the manufacturer's rating for the car. I'd like to give you a few measurements and these are going to help you whenever you're looking for accessories for your new hitch, like a ball mount, a bike rack, or even a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is going to be right about five and a half inches. Now that measurement is going to help you when you're looking at folding accessories to make sure you have enough room they can be put in the upright stored position and not come in contact with the rear bumper. And from the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening, it's going to be right about 14 inches. Now at that height I would recommend a bike rack or a cargo carrier with a raised shank, that way we get a little bit more ground clearance out of it. But also at that height, that's going to help you out when you're looking for a ball mount so you can find the appropriate rise or drop to match up to your trailer. Now that we've seen what our hitch looks like and gone over some features, let's go through the installation process together. To begin our installation, we want to come to the back of our Atlas. Now if we come underneath the back here and we come to the outside edge, we'll find our frame rail. I'm going to point out the attachment points. Now on each side, right above our tailpipe, we'll find our frame rail. And at the very back, right before we get to the actual bumper here, we'll find a hole at the back. And then if we follow it forward, we'll find a large oblong hole. So we want to grab one of the carriage bolts and spacer blocks. Now the spacer block you can see can easily fit into the frame, but our carriage bolt on the other hand isn't quite small enough or the hole isn't big enough to get into the frame, so we are going to have to enlarge this hole. Now there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can use a file or a rotary tool or some kind of grinding bit to open it up. You can use a large drill bit, like a step bit, really anything you have to open this hole up. But when we're drilling or opening it up, you only want to open it up big enough so that you can get this bolt through. I'm going to be using a file attached to a drill. That way I can periodically check to see if that bolt fits. Now you can see we can easily get that carriage bolt into that hole and not have to worry about it getting stuck or fighting. Now we're going to have the same holes on the other side of the frame, so we want to enlarge the other one as well so we can get our hardware in place. To get our hardware in place, we want to take the pull wire, and we're going to take the coiled end on it, and we want to feed it through the very rear attachment hole, and we're going to start pointing it towards the front, start feeding it till we can get it to come out 
the hole that we just enlarged. Now, if you do put your finger into the hole, you want to be extremely careful because we did just grind that. You don't want to cut your finger. There might be some sharp edges, but once you have the coiled end coming out, you want to make sure the tail end is still sticking out of the other end. We'll take our square hole spacer block. We're going to slide it over the wire. We'll take a carriage bolt. We're going to thread it onto the end of the wire. And you want to take each piece one at a time and feed it back into the frame. Then we'll come back to the end with the tail sticking out. We'll grab our pull wire. You may have to wiggle it around, but you want that bolt to come through the block and out the hole. Now, I always suggest leaving your pull wire attached. That way, we don't have to worry about the bolt getting pushed back into the frame. Now, this is going to be our second attachment point. It's going to be just towards the rear of our access hole. So we're going to use that same method of taking our pull wire, going in the hole, feeding it towards the access hole, and put them into the frame just like we did with the rear attachment point. Again, you want to make sure that bolt comes all the way through the frame and leave the pull wire attached. Now these are going to be the same mounting locations and hardware, so we're going to repeat that entire process over on the other side of the frame. Now with an extra set of hands, we're going to lift our hitch up. You want to feed your pull wire from the top going down. Then we're going to go over our exhaust, make sure we clear it. And you may need to kind of lift your hitch up a little bit further in than it needs to go just so we can get behind the fascia here. We're gonna get the bolts to line up. Then we're gonna remove one of the pull wires. And we're gonna take one of the flange nuts from our kit. And right now we wanna get at least one on each side. So we'll be careful not to push that bolt back into the frame. But as long as we can get one, the hitch should support itself and we'll work on getting the rest of the hardware in. At this point, you want to grab a three quarter inch socket and tighten up all the nuts holding the hitch in place. And you want to make sure you come back with a torque wrench and torque all your hardware down to the specified amount in the instructions. I'll go back and repeat that for any remaining hardware that we have. But once you have that all tightened down, that'll finish up your installation and your look at the Kurt Class 3 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2018 Volkswagen Atlas.